Hey guys, today we're diving deep into China's jaw-dropping mega-projects that defy imagination. From highways that can double as airplane runways to dams that dwarf Noah's Ark, China's construction feats are truly colossal. It's as if they're competing with fairy tale giants. Be careful what you say. Buckle up and get ready to be blown away. And hey, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Currently, only 6% of you are subscribed. Let's aim for 10%. Thanks for all your support. The Beipanjiang Bridge. The Beipanjiang Bridge, the high flyer of bridges. It's so tall that even the Golden Gate in San Francisco is like, whoa, hold my cable. With a staggering drop of 565 meters, this bridge puts skyscrapers to shame. You could practically fit the entire Empire State Building underneath it and still have room for a jumbo jet to take off. Not only does the Beipanjiang Bridge connect the mountainous provinces of Xuanwei and Shuicheng, but it also turns a four-hour journey into a blink-and-you'll-miss-it experience. And let's not forget the breathtaking views from the bridge. Sometimes you're so high up that you're practically driving through clouds and mist. Talk about a heavenly commute. But wait, there's more. Guizhou Province, where this wonder of engineering resides, seems to have a thing for towering bridges. Three out of the world's top five highest bridges are right here. It's like they're competing to see who can reach the highest peak. Building such colossal bridges isn't without its challenges. Architects had to keep raising the bridge higher and higher to avoid caves and cracks in those pesky karst mountains. It's like a real-life game of limbo, but instead of bending backward, the bridge goes up, up, and up. Now let's not confuse highest with tallest. The Beipanjiang Bridge may hold the crown for being the tallest, but the title of tallest goes to the Milau Viaduct in France. It's all about that deck height versus the overall structure, you know. But hey, China doesn't stop at bridges. They're also going deep, deep down with massive underwater tunnels. It's a world where heights reach dizzying levels and tunnels take you on an aquatic adventure. China truly knows how to take construction to new depths and heights, all while leaving us in awe. Next, let's learn about another mega project in China, the Taihu Tunnel. This unprecedented large-scale project took Chinese engineers four years and tens of billions of dollars to penetrate Taihu Lake across both banks and build the longest and widest underwater tunnel in China. You can cross Taihu Lake in just eight minutes. Instead of spoiling the scenic beauty with a boring bridge, China decided to take the Underground Express route. This nearly 11-kilometer-long tunnel is like a secret highway, making it one of the longest tunnels in the world. Move over. Traffic congestion. China's got a tunnel solution. While the Beipanjiang Bridge worries about weather conditions, this underwater tunnel remains as cool as a cucumber, except for the potential danger of drivers zoning out on such a straight road. To keep them entertained, Thousands of LED lights line the way, turning the journey into a dazzling light show. It's like a disco party for drivers minus the dance floor. There are many ways to build underground tunnels. The Channel Tunnel between France and England took the dig-below-the-waterbed approach. However, for the Taihu Tunnel, they decided to pump out the water using cofferdams, creating a dry construction site. To maintain secrecy, ventilation shafts were cleverly disguised across the lake. One looks like a hidden island, another like a conch-shaped statue, and there's even one pretending to be an ancient boat. It's like playing hide-and-seek with engineering secrets. Now, as impressive as the Taihu Tunnel is, it's not the longest road tunnel in the world. That honor goes to the Lerdal Tunnel in Norway. But hold on to your hard hats because China has its sights set on breaking records. They're planning a mind-boggling 105.25-kilometer railway tunnel between Yantai and Dalian that will make other tunnels look like mere molehills. It's all part of China's quiet revolution in high-speed rail. Superheroes of Transportation So buckle up, get ready for an underwater adventure, and join China on their journey of engineering awesomeness. From dazzling lights to hidden ventilation, they're turning tunnels into works of art. And who knows? Maybe one day they'll build a tunnel that takes you straight to the moon. 
Okay, maybe not. But they're definitely going places with their high-speed rail revolution. This is all part of China's quiet revolution in high-speed rail, which brings us to our next topic. So get ready to be blown away by China's massive high-speed rail network, where they're taking trains to the next level and beyond. They're not just breaking records, they're shattering them like a bullet train through a speed limit sign. In a blink and you'll miss it, 45 minutes, their bullet train zooms a whopping 200 kilometers between Hangzhou and Shanghai. It's like teleportation, but with extra leg room and a snack cart. And hold on to your train tickets, because in just eight hours they've transformed a grueling 24-hour journey from Beijing to Guangzhou into a breezy ride. It's like time travel, except you arrive at your destination before you even finish watching. China's high-speed rail revolution is no joke. They've laid down a mind-boggling 38,000 kilometers of track since 2009, enough to circle the globe almost entirely. They're like a giant cat playing with a ball of yarn, except instead of yarn, it's steel tracks, and instead of a cat, it's a whole country. They're rail maniacs on a mission. But China doesn't stop there. They're building rail lines for cities that haven't even been built yet. It's like they're playing a game of build it and they will come, just like those clever European colonizers who had railway lines ready for towns that were mere figments of their imagination. China's ahead of the game, always one step, or should we say one rail, ahead. And guess what? China isn't just about speed and efficiency. They're also into futuristic adventures. Picture this, a bullet train cruising along, carrying passengers, all without a driver. That's right. Their fucksing bullet train made history as the world's first ever driverless wonder on tracks. It's all about innovation, my friend. Sure, Japan may have snatched the fastest bullet train title, but when it comes to size and scale, China reigns supreme. They're playing in a league of their own, building high-speed rail tracks in extreme climates like the scorching Gobi Desert and the icy wonderland of Harbin. They're like superheroes of rail, conquering terrains others wouldn't dare to touch. But wait, there's more. China isn't just revolutionizing rail, they're even venturing into the cosmos. Bit by bit, they're making their mark in the space race. Move over. USA and Russia, China is reaching for the stars, one milestone at a time. They're like a cosmic triple threat, conquering Earth, rail, and space. Get ready to explore the wacky world of radio telescopes, where China went big, really big. With their out-of-this-world creation, picture this. Nan Randong, a visionary astronomer, looked at the tiny 25-meter telescopes in China and said, Nah! Let's go 20 times bigger. That's like upgrading from a magnifying glass to a telescope that can spot UFOs in another galaxy. For a whopping 10 years, Rendong and his crew searched high and low for the perfect spot to plant their mega telescope. And where did they end up? The Daodang Depression in Pingtang, a bowl-shaped valley that can handle the telescope's weight and drain groundwater. It's like they found the holy grail of telescope locations, nestled in the backyards of nowhere. In 2016, after two decades of planning and construction, the behemoth was complete. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the world's biggest telescope, a, a whopping 500-meter diameter beast. It's like a giant aluminum pancake floating in space, ready to devour radio waves like a cosmic. So buckle up, for a wild ride through the cosmos with China's mega radio telescope, it's a telescope so big it could double as a flying saucer landing pad. Thanks a gazillion for sticking around and watching our mind-blowing journey through China's mega projects. If you're hungry for more epic tales of engineering greatness, drop us a comment below and let us know which mega project you want us to tackle next.